Hello, hello. Hey friends, welcome back to another Thursday Live where we are working for the last time in my 2020 one little, not one little word. <laughs> what day is this? Okay, where we're working in my week in the life album. That's what I meant to say, my 2020 week in the life album. So, so excited that you guys are here and also so excited to be putting the final touches on this album and getting it onto the shelf. It's already like a chunky mess, but you know, I love it. It's totally fine with me. It's filled with all these awesome memories and that is going to be what it is. So awesome. Oh, hey Mallory from Crazy Texas. Yes, you guys, so crazy. Coffee needed? Yeah, probably. I could always use coffee at all at all times of the day. Um, you guys, this weather is insane. Now, I live in Michigan, so we're pretty, you know, we're used to the snow and all that stuff. But I used to have um, an aunt and uncle who lived down in Texas. And then my brother lives in Oklahoma. So I know that like the southern states don't have the same the same like machinery and tools at their disposal to take care of the winter storms like this. Because for us, we, on our back deck, uh, the snow comes up to about my knees <laughs> right now, which is like so crazy. And it's actually snowing again. So it's, it's just wild. And yeah, I can't even, I can't even imagine. And I can't even imagine what everybody is going through who doesn't have, you know, the same setup as, as we do here. So I hope that uh, if you are tuning in from a state that's been really affected by the weather, I hope that you are staying safe and that uh, everything is okay, that your homes are okay and, and all of that. I know it's been pretty devastating this week. So um, yes, yes, you guys. All right. So I uh, hope, oh my gosh, how long was your power out for Mallory? That's, I keep seeing like all the news and, and the stories and stuff on Instagram. It's just, I can't even believe it. I can't even believe this is happening. It's insane. Um, but uh, let me, let me give you the rundown of what we're going to be working on today. Um, and then, and then we'll get right to it. So today we are working on week in the life. I have Sunday is the last day to work on. I already started getting a little tiny bit of a head start here and, um, we're going to be putting together Sunday. And then I also have like one last little thing to add into my front cover, but that's going to take like all of two minutes. Um, so we're going to get this done. So the Sunday and the final touches on the album. So it's literally going on the shelf tonight and that will be that. I am assuming that it's not going to take me the whole time. We'll see because um, generally I did two days every night and that would take me the full two hours. So since I'm only doing one day, I don't think it's, it's definitely not going to take the full two hours. So if we have time remaining, my plan is to bring out my December, I think it's the December kit from Colorcast Designs to bring that out and Project Planet here with you guys. I, I, I know for a fact that my next kit is in the mailbox, just waiting for me to go grab it from the mailbox, but I want to take care of this one first so that I'm not just putting stuff on the shelf and not using it. So I'm going to get that out and see what stories we can figure out together to tell with that kit. Um, so that's my plan here. And then next Thursday, I am going to be doing my second day for day in the life of 2020. So I already have my pictures, my journaling, everything's ready to go. Um, we're just going to put it all together in that one live video and call that, call that done. So that will be all of my 2020 albums officially completed. Once all of that is done, I am still going to be continuing my live videos here on Thursday, but I also have a stash of planned stories that I have not told. <laughs> so I'll show it to you. This bin right here is full of stories to tell. So uh, what I'm going to do for the next probably two, it might take me about two months to get through it because every one of those envelopes has three to four stories in it. So for the next couple of months, we're going to just spend the uh, 
live time here, putting together three to four stories. And that will be, that'll be my goal because then I can get all of those done. And then we can move on to some bigger projects like a travel album or something of that nature. But I really want to get those stories told so that they're not sitting there and then you know, and then it becomes harder to tell them later on. So I have it already in my head. So we're just going to do that. That is my plan. Okay. So I'm going to get you guys turned around and we're going to get started on today's week in the life, uh, week in the life day. So, uh, mind me for just a second and I will get you guys situated and hopefully not disrupt my tech stuff. Cause I seem to always have an issue. So here we go. We are squeezing you in moving a cord and we're not straight. There we go. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. So, Hey guys, I'm seeing who all is here. We got guys power. Oh, Hey Haley. How's your puppy doing? Since Monday. We have... Wow. Since Monday. That's insane. Mallory. That's insane. Oops. I didn't mean to click that. Wow, you guys, okay, photos. No, so the bins that I have right there, there are no photos and no journaling. So that is what I uh, will spend a bit of time doing um, to prep for my Thursdays. So generally right now even, I, um, I had all of this prepped ahead of time so that when I got to this month, it was just putting it all together. So that's what I will do. I will batch it and get everything ready to go. I'm gonna see if this, I like this square better. Get everything ready to go, and then um, we'll tell all those stories. We'll get them all told. I'm excited to get them told and out of that bin, so then that bin can become my like stories on deck <laughs> kind of bin instead of my stories when you have time to tell stories bin which isn't often <laughs> with everything that's coming in and going out. So, um, yes, yeah, so that's, that is my plan. All right. So what I'm starting with today is my two by twos, which I am using ephemera pieces that, uh, I kept from throughout the week. I have already cut out a few of them. This has that like, so this was a coffee bag from Dunkin' Donuts. Um, I love Dunkin' Donuts coffee. And so I kept one of the packages of it it's because this one's really good. This caramel coffee cake, man, it was good. So that's what we were drinking this week. So I kept it. Why not? Um, anyway, so I'm taking these ephemera pieces, cutting them into two by two squares, and then those are going to go in, um, in a page protector to just signify some of the things that we did that week, you know? a great way to track how life changes through the stuff that we accumulate and use. So there we go. There's my caramel coffee cake. I also kept this piece too because I might need some extra pieces. We'll see. Um, <laughs> where it's got like their logo. So who knows? We'll see what we're going to do here. For now, we're just going to cut them all out and figure out where they go later. Um, mm, what do we see? year and a half after Hurricane Maria. That's, that's just like, it just is wrong <laughs> like for, for people to suffer for so long. Like, it's, it's, yeah, definitely makes you realize, you know, how good we've got it. Um, okay. Throw that in there. Let me see what else you guys are talking about here. So, um, Sunday from Week in the Life was May 17th and May 17th is my husband's birthday. So, um, we actually have like, I have his birthday cards that he got. I don't even know who they were from. This one's from my parents. And this one I think is from, uh, from a grandpa, my grandpa, um, who I think if I'm remembering right, I think they dropped them off. I don't know if they dropped them off on the day. <laughs> or if they dropped them off later and I just kept them and was like, oh, we'll put this in for the day. Um, but I kept the cards because I thought that would also be a great like piece of ephemera. And I have, 
I don't always keep cards, uh, especially if, so if somebody goes through the trouble, you know, like a, a family member or a friend or whoever it is, if they go through the trouble to like write something in the card, I will keep it. Um, I will always keep that. And I don't, you know, I, I don't really have a great place where they go or anything, but I feel like those deserve to be kept and to not be cut into <laughs> like I'm doing great now. But some of the ones that just say like happy birthday, so that's kind of cool. I like that. Um, some of the ones that just say things like, you know, happy birthday, I love you. Um, I will cut those things apart and use them. What do I want to say? If you can guess the number birthday card, you will win. I don't know what I'm going to cut here. We're just going to do a piece. You know what? I'm just going to do like a, because this is kind of cool how it's striped. I think that's neat. <laughs> so we're not going to care about what the words actually say. We're just going to grab a piece where you can get a lot of those stripes in it. Fun. Okay. I'll do this right here. Yeah. How about that? Working on your load project, Kate, what are you making for your load project tonight? Are, and are any of the rest of you guys, um, are any of the rest of you guys doing the load stuff? The load project through, is that through um, Simple Scrapper? I don't remember who that's through. I don't remember. But I know a lot of people are doing it and it's, a really awesome concept where you try and do one page every day. I think it's a really cool thing. Um, cards. I, I don't make cards. No, I don't. Uh, so for all your card, well, these are store bought ones, right? So like handmade cards, I also keep and I keep them intact, even if they have nothing written inside because you know, they're special cards, but, um, <laughs> cutting down on some of this bulk, you know, why not? Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I, I actually, I don't make cards. No, but I love them. I think they're pretty. <laughs> Thinking like, let's do this. Sunshine Coast of Australia. Oh man, I'm jealous. Don't tell me that. <laughs> I would kill for some like sunshine and warm, um, which I'm sure is how exactly how you know, everyone who lives in Australia feels about us when it's our summertime. You know what it's like? Ooh, we got all the warm. So get out of here with that. But yes, hello from Australia. That's awesome. Awesome. I love that you guys are from so many like different places around the world. It's the coolest thing. Okay, I want to fit this on here somehow. I need like, maybe I'll get a piece of this brown and I'll tape it on there. So this is a patch that came in the card. It says born to be amazing. So I'm going to stick that in here. It's cool. It's raining. Oh no. Well, <laughs> oh man, sorry about that. Oh. Scrap happy. Yes. I think you're right. That's yes. Yes. Kate, scrap happy. You're running out of ideas of what to scrap. Like stories you mean? or moments. Oh, awesome. I'm so glad that you guys get so much use out of the out of those planning sheets. So the funny thing with those is that um, when I started planning my projects, um, I used to write inside of, of a, a sketch pad. So I just got like one of those like five by seven sketch pads. I need to move this. It keeps jogging here. There we go. Um, and actually I'll move it even closer. It's hitting my camera stand. Anyway, so, um, uh, yeah, I used to sketch them all in a sketch pad. And then what I would do is like grab a sticky note and write the title of whatever my project was going to be. So I had a place to go and look for it. And, um, then I would put all the stuff in a pocket and then later pull it all back out and then go get my sketchbook and find, find the sketch of what I wanted to make with it. And then I eventually was like, you know, it'd be so much easier if I just like had a page that I could throw in there with them instead of having to search for it. 
So I made those and like, you guys, I'm not a designer or anything. I just like whipped them up and uh, decided like, sure, I'll share them. Why, why not? And the funny thing about it, which is like funny, but also really awesome, is just that so many of you guys have found them helpful and that's awesome. Like, I'm so glad to to provide something that can help you guys tell more of your stories and use more of your product. Because for me, that's, you know, the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal in so many ways is to tell more stories and to encourage others to tell more stories too. So I'm really glad, really, really glad by that. I still need to make, um, I need to make a couple more sizes in them. Uh, and then up, you know, update them. I think one of them doesn't quite print as nicely as I would like it to. So I need to fix that and then do like an updated version. So I need like a nine by 12 size, uh, even though I don't necessarily do the same types of projects, like the story projects in my nine by 12, it's just project life. And I typically don't sketch out my project life, but it would still be nice to have like all the sizes, you know, all the sizes available. Okay, so that gives me a whole bunch of these. The only other one I have here, which I cut a piece of white cardstock because I kept, um, Izzy was, and she still is, in the phase of like coloring things and then cutting them out and giving them to me to use in my projects. So I, <laughs> I kept these pieces and I'm just gonna like tape them on this white, on this white piece. And uh, that'll be kind of reminiscent of her making things and cutting them out. So we'll just, we're gonna collage this like a good old, one little word collage here. <laughs> Cause that will be fun. So, yes. Oh, planning sheets, Mallory. Um, I typically, I typically link them in almost every single video. Like I might even have them in this video. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember if I have them in the description, but almost all of the videos that I share, I also add those on there. So check the description. Um, and then I'm actually working on, um, creating a space for myself where I can have some landing pages where I can send you guys to like an actual like post where you can grab those instead of just like a random Dropbox file. So that will be coming soon. That's like your, that's your hot tip kind of, so I'm not giving it all away. I don't think, but, um, some hot tips for, uh, things that are, that are coming soon. Coming soon. I'm thinking we have one more. I think next week on Thursday, um, I will be ready to tell you guys about some different things that I'm, <laughs> that I, as I ruin this, some different things that I am um, working on that will launch, hopefully, if all goes well, March 1st. So, super excited about that. I hinted at that today on Instagram too, but... It's hard to, it's hard to keep the secrets, you guys. <laughs> All will be revealed next week. Keep your eyes peeled. All right, so here we go. Just random collage. It's not, you know, it's whatever. But <laughs> it's all the pieces from her, so it's cool enough for me. All right, so I needed 12 of these in order to fill my pocket. So I got one, two... Three, I really like that one. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, this is a receipt from the dinner that we ordered for Aaron's birthday that we had delivered to our house. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll do 10, maybe 10. Yeah. 11. <laughs> this was a, um, I'm going to switch, I think. This was when I bought, where is it? I don't think it's down here anymore. It's a, a button that you push in order to take pictures and stuff. And I, um, I don't know why I never thought of that before, but I like thought of it that day. 
<laughs> or thought of it that week, I was like, I need one of those so we can take selfies of ourselves and I don't have to set a timer. And so it came in and I kept the instructions just so I could cut a piece. Okay, I think I like, I think I like the makeup of this here. So, tell us all the things. <laughs> soon soon my friends okay so let me let's just get this page done since I have all the pieces here um so I've already got my two by twos printed um I get questions on how I print two by twos all the time and um basically what I do everything in photoshop I don't I I'm very comfortable using Photoshop for pretty much everything. So that's where I do all of my editing, all of my cropping, all of my printing. I think that's all of it, but all of it is inside of Photoshop. So um, I crop my photos down because you can see mine have this tiny, I don't know, let me see if I can get this up here. They have this tiny little white border around the outside of them. And um, I like having my photos bordered in white. So I crop them in a very strange way. I probably just need to figure out like what the actual size is, but that's too complicated right now. I don't want to figure that out. So what I do, I crop them to 3.75 by 3.75. Okay. Then I add those, that image onto a four by four canvas. So now it's got a border around it. That's white. I merge those layers together, so now it's just that one file, and crop the whole thing there down to a two by two. So if I were to do like 2.75 by 2.75, then, um, not 2.75, 1.75 by 1.75 on a two by two, the border's too thick. I don't like this, I don't like the scale of it. So that is why I do it a weird way, but you know, <laughs> you can do it whatever way you want. I also know a lot of people are big fans of an app called PicFrame. I think I'm getting that right. And that's a great place to um, crop your photos down to the smaller sizes as well. Okay, so, hey Caleb, welcome. Hope you guys are doing well this week. I'm glad you guys are all here. Purchase, I hope you get a lot of projects in this month, yep. Kate, how long does a uh, load go for? Is it a year-long thing or is it a, a month-long thing? Yeah. And Caleb, did you get your second vaccine or do you, are you still only on, you know, did you only get the one? I can't remember if you got the second one yet. No side effects, no pain. Amazing. Oh God, I, yes, amazing print to size. Okay. That's an awesome suggestion. Print to size from Lynn. Thank you. Yeah. Mallory, you are killing your watch kit. I'm so proud of you. I love, I love seeing all the pages and I'm so excited to like share a bunch of stuff tomorrow. So, uh, tomorrow you guys, Friday, it is story kit crush Friday. And, um, one of the things I like to do on Fridays is to go to the hashtag. So if you don't know, on Instagram, you can search a hashtag just like you can search for a person. So you go up into the search engine and you type in uh, story kit crush, and then it'll give you the option to like people or tags or places, I think, but probably only the tag is going to show up. So you click on that tag and it'll take you to a page where all of the content is for Story Kit Crush. Now also, oh, I forgot to add this. Also, um, you, can, you can organize it by um, like most recent or by most popular. So I like to go on there on Fridays, it's like my favorite thing, and to toggle it to the most recent and then to just go and like spend some time looking at all the stories that you guys are sharing and, and um, like reading them. And it just, I, I love it so much. Um, it's hard because sometimes life gets really busy and it's hard to find time to just sit down and um, like to sit down and invest time in reading all the, all the posts and stuff. So I really like having a specific day 
when I can go and do that. How cool is that? Born to be amazing. Love it. Um, so, I mean, I do get on <laughs> way more than I probably should onto, onto social media, specifically on Instagram. Um, but you know, it's hard to see everything. So I, I just, I love Fridays for that. So I check it out and then I like to share them too. So if you look in my stories on Friday, you're probably going to see like a million little dots, but that's because I'm sharing all the awesome things that you guys are doing. So there's that. So you can just skip it if you don't like that. <laughs> just swipe it to the side. <laughs> yes, Etienne, I, I do. I love, like, I, I always find, um, I like to go and actually read, read the stories. And it does mean, you know, a little bit more time spent on the post. But that's also not a bad thing, right? Because then you're not just, like, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. And that is, hands down, like, the best way to get to know people. I just love, I love it. Because people are so, like, people, you guys, are so open with, like your lives and um, the things that you're loving. And it just, you know, it's awesome. I It it makes me love the scrapbooking community because we are story-based people, but we're also like sharing our lives with each other. And that's just such a special thing, I think. All right, we're getting there. This is the longest, this is the hardest page of all of them to do. It's why I'm like, I'm doing it first, which, I will um, say that when I'm doing projects like, like let's let's say a project like Story Kid Crush, where I'm trying to use up an entire kit of supplies, um, and you know there's like always that one thing that's really hard to use, and you're like I don't know how I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do with that. I just I don't know. For me, that is my goal always is like how can I take the thing that's hardest to use and use that first? Like I I want to tell. I want my first story to be the one with the hard stuff. But then it also makes the rest of it, you know, easier and more manageable too. You're like, if you can get the hardest part done, then the rest of it just falls into place. <laughs> yes, Millie, I totally agree with that. That it's like, if the more you read of other people's work, the better your own writing becomes. And I also think that it can help you really start to pay attention to different kinds of stories. So, you know, like, um, I feel like, so, so Tashi, right? Tashi loves to do like really awesome love stories. Like she's so awesome at telling love stories and I love reading hers because then I feel like it can help me to get better at telling my own. Oh, so yeah, I, I highly recommend, um, especially if you're, if you're struggling with one, with trying to figure out what stories to tell and two with how to tell them then definitely, you know, read some, read some of the posts that people are putting out there and find people whose style you really like or whose stories you really like and, you know, follow them closely for sure. Okay. We're getting there. We are getting there. Okay. I actually, um, today put together my supplies for progress because that's what we're crushing next um my plan is tomorrow I'm hoping tomorrow to like go through and um work on planning that one out so I can start getting some projects done this weekend I'd like to get what I would really like is to get all my projects done this weekend so that story could crush stuff is done for next month before next month even arrives that's always my goal Okay, okay, last one. These things, these take forever, but they're the fa they're my favorite pages, so, you know. <laughs> it's so worth it. All right. Millie, you should post. I never post. You should. 
I would love to read your stories, Millie. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> yes, don't overthink it. Yes. Jackie, I love that you're still working in your December daily. I love, I love when you post your videos about um, the work that you're doing on it. It's so fun. Okay, so that one's gonna be ridiculous and fat and hard to get in here. <laughs> so we're gonna, I gotta turn this thing over. So we got, I'm gonna go this way. That way I know where they go. And we'll do that. So um, if this is your first time hanging out with me in this project. What I did for the two by twos is I set an alarm on my phone for every hour of the day, for every day of the week. And I took, like when that alarm went off, I, I ran and took a picture of whatever was happening. So the first, I probably need from this just a tiny bit because it's buckling in here. The first four days, five days, the first five days of the month were dedicated to specific people. So, um, this will be interesting. So I did my daughter one day and my son one day. Come on. Yeah, no, it's not going to happen. All right. Sharper scissors. Let's do this. Uh, my son was one day. My daughter was one day. I was one day so jacket my husband and I forget who else my cat myself I don't know I, I'm probably I probably got this all in there somewhere anyway so we were the first five days um where it was focused on one person yeah it's much better and that allowed me so every hour an alarm would go off and I would go find that person or animal and take a picture of whatever it was they were doing at that moment <clears throat> Then for Saturday and Sunday, I did the same thing, but I did it more as a family because those are definitely more our family days um, where we're just together most of the day. I mean, which is funny to say. We're together every day, all day, but where we're actually like together, interacting, having fun, being outside, that sort of thing. Those are Saturdays and Sundays. So I did the same thing. I took a picture every hour of what we were doing. Um, and that became my two by two. So the rest of this album is not really like chronological. Like my photos don't start at the beginning of the month or of the month. They don't start at the beginning of the day and end at the end of the day. It's kind of a mismatch. They're kind of all over the place, except for in the two by twos. Those are like a truer picture of the flow of the day, so to say. I don't always care so much about um, about like time and, and like being chronological, which if you guys have seen my story album flip through, which I have one done. You guys, I have another one done. I just need to film the flip through. I'm so excited to finally film it. But um, they're not chronological at all. There's like no rhyme or reason. And sometimes I'm like, Ooh, I wonder if I should have like structurally made these different, but also who cares? <laughs> okay. So let's get to this. Oh, I have one other thing I have to do. That's going to be a little tedious. All right. So I already have my title, my transparency title page done. The cool thing now is since we're on Sunday, we only have like one choice left for everything. So uh, like this one, this last fabric circle goes on the Sunday because it's the only one I have left. And if it doesn't match perfectly, like if the sentiment wasn't a great match, I don't care. It just goes on there anyway, because it's really more about the photo. Uh, sometimes it's, you know, the embellishments can help me tell parts of the story, but the parts for me that are most important are the photos. Now, these photos are, um, were our porch selfies. And it was such a debacle to get these photos, like such a debacle. In fact, I did a story, um, let me grab my, well, that was awesome. Okay, so let me, out of the garbage because that's not getting thrown away anyway so um 
I did a story about it with like a feature craft kit and it was basically, I wanted these photos really bad. I was like, week in the life, we're taking porch photos, you know, family, get your act together because we're getting out there and we're taking photos as a family. We're going to be happy about it. And of course, you know, when you have, at this time she was five, when you have a five-year-old, that's like, it's just never going to happen. So I picked out an outfit for her <laughs> to wear so that we could all kind of match a little bit. And um, she threw a hissy fit tantrum. And I, in turn, threw a hissy fit tantrum. Um, real bad. <laughs> like, really bad for a stupid photo. Ugh, sometimes, you guys, we can all be such stinkers sometimes. So um, that was on Saturday. Right, so this is the Sunday photo. On Saturday, we had this big blowout fight. And, um, you know, with me having to, like, go take a walk down the road because I was way too hot, you know, like, yeah, I was seeing way too much red at that point. So I had to go take a walk. Um, and, like, you know, was mad and sad. And I'm like, we're not getting our photos. This is the worst week. <laughs> Making things way bigger of a deal than they ever needed to be so then on sunday and you know it, it the day it went ended up fine like we apologize i apologize she apologized um and we were fine we were fine about it and i had to explain to her you know that like why like i had to explain to her why it hurt my feelings that she didn't want to do a family photo and all this stuff and she had to explain to me i guess that her clothes were not comfortable I don't know. So, um, the next day <laughs> we were in much better moods and I had, n I did not care one bit about what anybody wore. I was like, I don't care if you're in your pajamas, let's just go out and take a picture on the porch. Let's just do it. You know? <laughs> and everyone agreed and we made it. So these porch photos were a giant debacle, but I am glad I have them because <laughs> we don't often get family pictures together. We just, we don't, it's usually me taking photos of the kids or of my husband with the kids and selfies of myself. <laughs> like, you, know, you have to get real creative on how to take selfies when, um, like Aaron's not good at remembering to take pictures. He's getting better. He's trying to get better, but yeah, the selfie thing, you have to get good at that. So anyway, um, what do we got? Yeah, and we got my cat. We got the cat in with us. <laughs> yes. Um, so that is that happens. Yes. Yeah, kids are kids are hard. It's hard. Parenting is hard work, you guys. Um. So yes, the template. This was a template from 2020. So this was last year's last year's layer template templates which were awesome. I really liked them. Okay. So, um, we got the picture of all of us, all of us on the porch and then I grabbed it and we took more of a selfie, which was fun. This one's a little blurry, but I didn't care. I just left it colored because I liked it that way. It didn't bother me for this. We're going to do some kind of sticker thingy on here. Yes. I think sometimes it's hard, especially when, um, something like memory keeping is important to you. It is so easy to get in the habit of taking pictures uh, and then like significant others and uh, older kids and all of that, like it's not as much of a priority to them. So they don't take as many, at least that's how it works in our house where I'm like, all right, I usually have to tell my husband like, okay, listen, you're going to take pictures of me today <laughs> because I'm part of this family too, and you get all the good pictures. They're all of you. So, okay. Unless they're selfies and just become a selfie pro. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> pro out on the selfies. All right, I'm just trying to see if I've used, what have I used already? I mean, it really doesn't matter if I repeat, like who is really gonna care about that? Mm. Not me, cause I'm about to do it. All right, so 
How about this one? I know I've used this already. I don't care. I do not care. Because, in fact, this is truly real life right here. We made it. We took a picture. <sighs> we made it to the other side. Let's do a blue one. What? Well, how lame are you? Okay. <laughs> the backing just ripped right off. What in the world? Yeah, there's my backing piece. All right, so let's add some glue because this won't work out otherwise. No wonder, no wonder what. <sighs> I need a new glue so bad. I ordered one from Amazon. I'm just waiting for it to get here because I, um, with backing cut files more often now, like you actually use more glue. Oh God, this is great. <laughs> it's got like the stuff in it. All right, I need a, need a needle, need a needle. Yes, so true. Okay, got it. <laughs> yes, so um, what we decided to do, Etienne, I see your, your um, okay, now we're exploding. I see your comment about hiring someone. So something that's really cool is that my sister-in-law, Caitlin, is getting more into memory keeping and photography. So, and they live, they live about 15 minutes away from us. So we're really close to each other. It's actually, um, one of the things that was such a bummer about the pandemic is that they moved into their house during the pandemic. And then, um, we haven't been able to take advantage of the fact that they're really close because we've had to social distance for like a year, you know, it's just a bummer. Uh, but anyway, that's besides the point. The point is that they live close and, um, you know, she wants pictures of her family and I want pictures of my family. So we're like, okay, at least once a season we'll get together and I will take pictures of them. I have glue on my fingers now and they can take pictures of us, uh, so that we can get family photos with all of us included, which is so awesome. Um, okay. That is done so awesome because then we you know like neither of us are professional photographers but I think we can do a pretty good job <laughs> so I'm not too worried about it I always told Aaron that I really 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 wanted to do family photos like to, to hire someone do an appointment go and do them and we just have never we've just never done it I see a lot of people too that um a lot of women that ask their husbands and their family for that for their birthday. And I'm like, that's brilliant. You know, like, all I want for my birthday is for you guys to take family photos with me. Yes. You know. Okay. So I'm running out of asterisks. And I don't want to use this peachy one on the peachy one. Oh, well, you know what? I have these other ones, though. Uh, so not that one. But what about this, like, little silver guy? Let's do it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. So there's Sunday. <clears throat> this is my journaling about just like observations of the day. Um, talked about how we stayed in our pajamas for most of the day. We only changed to take photos and our kids didn't. They were just in their pajamas. Um, and then that it was Aaron's birthday. And so Aaron and Caitlin's husband, Alex, are identical twins. Um, sorry. So... It was actually both of their birthday on this Sunday. So we did like a family Zoom call because we were still socially distancing. Um, and we're, yeah, it's still, still you guys, almost an entire year later, we're, we're not, it's not too much different, is it? All right, so let's put, we're gonna do a heart here in my tweezers. You guys just use your drone to take pictures of you guys. That's so funny. <laughs> I mean, it works. It works for sure. With your drone, are your photos... Um, I think Allie does that. Yeah, I thought so too. I thought Allie did that too. Haley, with your drone, are your photos clear? Or... Are, you know, do you struggle with that? Because I assume that drones, like, are moving. 
you know? Daily life morning. I mean, this was the morning, so let's do morning. Morning. This was us reading on the couch all together. Um, nope, Erin didn't take that one. <laughs> I, I love bringing around different props with me, so I can just prop my photo up and take selfie pictures at any random time. So this was like, I set my phone on a timer and we took that photo. Here is the family Zoom call that we were on with my husband's family so we could celebrate their birthday all together. And this just needs a chipboard piece. I could just do remember. Yeah, that's good. Go remember. And then this is going to get the Sunday thing. Timers. Yes, timers. Timers, timers, timers. Use them. As that's the only way. <laughs> like even today, my, um, there's hardly any pictures of me that are not like, you know, I, I posed for it, you know. So today I put my phone on a timer. There we go. Set it down uh, on the ground level and then just like I was taking pictures of me and my son came over and wanted to sit on my lap and I was like, yeah, let's do it. I really just wanted to get a picture of the mess that my living room was because I was going to talk about how every day I have to clean up my living room like five times. And um, he came over and it was really sweet. So we took a picture together and now I have a, another favorite that's probably going to end up all over the place because that's what I do. Which I also recommend, like if you have a photo that you super love, do not feel like you can, like you only have, have permission to scrap that once. You can use that photo as many times and in as many places as you want. Because it deserves to be seen everywhere. That's... That is my theory. Okay, there we go. So we got Sunday. Remember, I have this um, card that I threw in here. This was from, I think from the Storytelling Basics collection, this one. And I just went and grabbed a few cards. Oh, no, I printed it. So I don't know where it came from. It's printed. I think that's matte photo paper, just based on the feel. And then I need something to go on you. I could do... Mm, probably not one of those, but oh, I have a whole nother sheet of those. That's awesome. Thankful. Ooh, I like that. Yes, we're doing it. That was fast. Okay. This says thankful for all the chapters that make up my story. Um, and this was from the ups and downs collection, which was such a great collection for sure. I haven't even really used much of it, but I do love it. I love the colors and the sentiments. So uh, do you always, so Nicole, I just started printing it on matte photo paper. I used to print it on regular cardstock. And sometimes if I'm printing out like type on just white, I will print that on just regular old cardstock. But if I, um, am printing something that has a pattern or is color or something like that, the, the matte photo paper is my new favorite because it prints it as close to a regular card as possible. Like the coloration, the difference in color between, between it all is not very drastic at all. So I definitely recommend it. Um, so this one, we've got, like I said, the picture of um, the Zoom call. And then over here, I talked about, uh, I did a couple of like, detail synopsis of certain things. So I talked about taking photos of my layouts. So that's what I was doing here is I'm just like leaning over to take a photo of my layout. And then um, I'm trying to see, I should turn this off. This is going to help with your glare. Hold on. I'm turning this light off. Uh, yeah, that'll be way better. Um, so I have a photo of me taking photos and then, which also I actually made my husband take that one. I was like, Hey, I need you to do this. And he did. And then I talked about um, just being at home. So this has nothing to do with anything other than it had the word home in it. That's my, that's our mat at the front of our home. And so I talked about being home all the time. Uh, so next we are going to, you were printing on the wrong side. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. Millie, I only know that because I did that the, like the second time. It's so, like I printed something and it was gorgeous. And I was like, yes, this is amazing. And then I printed it another thing and it looked awful. And then I had to realize that, you know, 
there are two sides to matte photo paper. <laughs> so make sure you print on the right side. It's so hard to tell. I will say that the, the paper part, or at least for the brand that I get, which is Canon, um, the correct side to print on is a little bit brighter and whiter than the back side. So I have to like bring it over to some good lighting and, and, um, like look at the two sides. So like this is also matte photo paper. So it has the texture, like when you feel it, it has the texture of cardstock almost, uh, but it has a really vibrant color. And, and it doesn't have all like the lines in it. Cause sometimes when I print on normal cardstock, I don't know if you guys have this experience, but when I print on normal cardstock, uh, especially something that is solid, a solid color, it gets these lines in it. So it's not like a perfect, you know, print. It's got some, some discoloration or some misses, I suppose, from the ink itself. Okay, so we're gonna stick this here at the top. There we go. I just had like a really light outline there so I knew exactly where to place it. I am I am not that skilled where I would be able to place that perfectly on my own. So, you know, <laughs> we, we gotta do what we gotta do. So this is the other one that is a little bit tedious. So we'll get to this. Um. My Sunday, yeah, it did have a lot of photos. You know, it also helped me though with the with the timer thing. And some things are from different days in the week. So like this one right here, this one right here was a compilation of photos that I took throughout the week. One of the things I like to do is to take photos of places that change. So I have a photo of our, um, what do people call this? It's like a home wall something. There's like a name for it, I think. Anyway, I've got, we've got a calendar and we've got like a, a, a bottle or a cap remover thing. And we've got checklists of what everybody does, their chores and things, which we haven't used those in ages. I need to redo them. Um, and then I have a couple of shelves and stuff like that. So this is a space that the calendar changes, the to-do list change, things change. I also have a picture of our shoes that are piled on the ground because you know, everybody's shoes are there, Izzy's little shoes and Jojo's little shoes that they both grew out of already. And then I also have a picture of the front of our refrigerator because we display artwork and um, like baby announcements and party announcements and all those kinds of things. Yes, command center. Thank you, Millie. Um, we display all that kind of stuff on our fridge. And so I like to take pictures of it because also it changes. Okay, so this is a layer template from um, In a Creative Bubble. There we go, from In a Creative Bubble. And what I did is I printed it with nothing in it because it's like an inch and a quarter because I want to actually take by one and three quarters. So an inch and a quarter by one and three quarters. I need to write that down because I'm gonna forget. Inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter by one and two five by one and seven five, right? Yeah, 1.75, okay. There we go, I'll forget if I don't. So what I wanna do with this is I also throughout the week kept all of like the wrappers and things that we um, that we drink throughout the week because Aaron and I, Aaron and I really like craft beer. So, um, you know, we just drink probably had way too much of it during the summer, but that's, you know, that is what it is. <laughs> and, uh, I regret nothing. So we're going to take these and we're going to cut them to go into those spots because I thought that would be really fun. Oh, good night, Etienne. I'm, thanks for coming out. Hope you, uh, hope you have a good night. Yes. Oh, countertop right after. Oh, because it's never been seen since. So true. So true. I was going to post on my Instagram stories today. I might do it at some point because it's tongue in cheek funny, I think. Um, 
do you guys have the experience of, yeah, thank you, Lindsay, you can never have too much craft beer. Okay, do you guys have the experience of, um, like me? So, my husband has... Uh, recently he's, he's actually cooking dinner for us now. So he cooks our meals. That's not always been the case. Um, but he does now. However, and then he, he cleans the kitchen afterwards too. So, uh, which is awesome, right? Super awesome. Except he never cleans the counters ever. Like never. I always wake up in the morning cause he usually does it when I like go up to bed. The counters are never clean. Never. <laughs> is it like a, is that like a thing? I don't know. Because my dad does the same thing. My dad also never cleans counters. So like, I don't understand. <laughs> it drives me insane. So I'm like, ugh. Erin, I gotta get up and like make food for the kids and do work on the counters. And they're a mess. <laughs> yes. It's gotta be a thing. Oh, I don't judge you, Caleb. Not even one bit. Oh, you do the cooking. No, I don't judge you. Aaron does the cooking and it's awesome. I used to do it all and now he does it because he got tired of me making um, freezer meals <laughs> where he's like, I want fresh. I want to be able to, I want to be able to like chop it fresh and eat it fresh. He's picky that one. Not really. He's not really picky, but yeah. I don't know. It drives me insane. Oh, clean the counters. Yes. Ew. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> yes. It's so true. It's gotta be. Yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing for sure. And it's hard because it's like, I'm so thankful, you know, like you're so thankful for any help. And then also like, oh, the counters. Okay. Anyway, that is my rant for today. Counters. All right, so getting, this is gonna be a little bit. Uh, I think I'm cutting these like a little tiny bit too short, but it's okay. <laughs> yes. Well, so here's what I do with freezer food or freezer meals. Is it's not, it's not pre-cooked necessarily. It is, um, like you put it in a, in a bag, in a freezer bag, right? You put all the ingredients in, and then you freeze it. And then you unfreeze it and put it into the crock pot or it might be in like a casserole dish and then you just bake it um, in the oven the next day. So these are like a little bit too small. You know, I have an idea of what I can do to combat that. Anyway, so it's not like leftovers. It's just... You know, he just got tired of, uh, essentially, of crockpot meals, and I understand that. they It does get old after a while, so I totally get it. All right. Oh, this one. Yes, exactly. Um, one of my favorite resources is called The Family Freezer. They have uh, an awesome system and really good recipes. So we used a lot of theirs. And then if it's something that you get into, you can, you can figure out how to take your own, um, like family recipes and even do it with them. Cause that's what we ended up doing was, was, you know, adapting our own recipes to be able to work. And it worked out really nice, you know? But it, you do get tired of them after a bit. I, don't, I do understand that. So what's awesome is that he can just be like, you know, he makes it now. So I'm like, yeah, if you want the fresh stuff, you make it yourself, man. <laughs> Caitlin, that's so funny. So my mom was just, yeah, she's like that my dad. So Jody is my mom. Uh, and Caitlin is my sister-in-law. So um, my dad doesn't run the garbage disposal and then it stinks up their house. And so my brother-in-law just went and ran his garbage disposal. Oh my goodness, so funny. 
All right, so we're getting there. We're getting there, we're getting there. <sighs> so are you guys working on any projects currently? What are you guys working on? I know there's the um, self-love project that's going on. And I've seen some people who are doing the um, uh, Me, Myself, and I project. That was the one Hubba started. So some people are doing that right now. Oh, no. Hand washing is the... Yes. Nothing makes you appreciate a dishwasher like having to hand wash a bunch of stuff. Oh man, I'm so sorry that your dishwasher broke. Oh, okay. Nope. Let's move. Me, myself, and I, and Kelly, anyone else. So what is this? Can somebody explain in the chat? What is Kelly Winnell's project? Because I've I've seen a few people mention it, and I don't know if I've ever seen the project itself. December Daily. Hey, good for you, though, that you're still working on December Daily. So many people have, have already put it away, you know? Good for you. You're going to get that thing done, and it's going to be the best accomplishment. I'm telling you. prompts. Yeah, I I considered doing it, but then I was like, I just don't have time for that right now. But I love the idea of the me, myself, and I. I think it's really great. Okay, what is it? It's, there's a list of 28 prompts for the 28 days of February. Single word prompts focused on you. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is very similar. Are they like, with it being, with it being February, is it like more... Um, what do I want to say? Did I just cut that wrong? No, I got that right. We're good. We're good. But I cut this part wrong, so we'll fix that. Um, yes, same, Amanda. I'm going to do the, I'm going to do the uh, pieces too this year again, for sure. I really, I really enjoyed that last year. Yeah, it was so good. Mini album for my grandson. Aw. That's so sweet. How old is your grandson? Grandson, that's what you said, right? I didn't get that wrong. Where'd that go? Grandson, yes. You're like, <laughs> moving into a scrap room. Ooh, that's my favorite. I just cut this too small. Crap. Well, that's what you get for not paying attention, Crystal. <laughs> like, oh wait, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I was thinking it had to be a two by two. Okay, we're good, we're fine. <laughs> okay where do I want to go here so, so some of these were labels that I took off of like the bottle and some of these were like pieces of the box that they came in I'm gonna go right here birthday month in June you know what that's actually a really good idea well I wouldn't be able to do my birthday month but I like the idea of doing it like in the summer I think that's a great idea yeah, that'll be good. We got it. Oh, we got them all. Um, my birthday's in December. So usually, yeah, with December daily, it's hard to do anything, anything outside of that. But I do love, I love the idea of summer. And I, if my birthday was not in December, then I would probably consider it too for like a birthday month. Almost two years old. Oh, so not too much different from... From Jonah, he's like, uh, coming up on two and a half. Wait, October, December, December, January. Yeah, he'll be two and a half next month, I think. Um, okay, this is not gonna probably like my. This paper is not gonna like that very much, so I'm just gonna go in there. Yeah, December birthdays, especially for like the memory crafting stuff. In addition to like celebrating holidays, it just it's a it's a crazy month for sure. Do your half birthday? Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Yes. What would that be? Like July? Wait. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah, July. Oh, I could do that. You know what? I've actually been wanting to do, like, um, I was talking the other day about, uh, to a friend about, um, like bucket list stories that I want to tell. Like what would be on my bucket list for stories to tell, which is really hard because it's hard to, to think of because I generally just like, if I have a story idea, I just tell it. <laughs> like I, I don't usually wait, but what I really want to do is a spontaneous project. <laughs> like I want to do, which <laughs> sounds funny. What I mean by that is in December, many crafters, um, do like their December daily where you live your life and it's like whatever suits your fancy for that day, whatever story like appears to you, you tell that story. And I never scrapbook that way, like never. So, um, I kind of want to give it a try just because maybe I feel a little bit of FOMO, but also I... I would be curious to see what stories came out of that. So that's on my bucket list for maybe I'll do it in July since that's like half birthday month. Yeah? Yeah? What is there? Oh, the Zoom crop. Yes. So um, on Saturday, you guys, over on the Mighty Network, the Scrappy Sisters Mighty Network, which... I hope, you know, it will be linked in the description box. There will be a link that says like, you can find me on the, or in the Scrappy Sisters Mighty Network. So um, over on the Mighty Network, I am doing a Saturday Zoom session um, this week. So the plan is I've never hosted a Zoom thing before. So it will be a little bit like figuring it out. Um, and hopefully not a bunch of like technical difficulties, but we're gonna do our best. Um, so my plan is to come on there. Now I did, well, I'll back up to go forward. I have a theme for it. So the theme is telling love stories. So, you know, just talking about love stories, figuring it's the month of February and celebrating Valentine's day or celebrating like loving your friends or whoever it is. And I provided a sketch idea. Actually, I have it right here in front of me. There's my sketch. <laughs> that is part of it. So it's, um, I, I did mine to fit in like a traveler's notebook, but you can also do the same concept and like eliminate that line and just pretend it's like a bigger page or you can alternate it, alternate it. You can alter it to be whatever you like. But the idea for me, I just like to have something to go off of. And so I figured I would put a sketch in there in case anybody needed some kind of idea. So it's there. Um, and then for the session, it's an hour long. It's from 1230 to 130 Eastern Standard Time. And uh, we're just going to talk about love stories. So my plan is this, which we'll see how this goes. My plan is to not, I personally will not be crafting because I currently, there's currently like 50, almost 60 people RSVP'd. So that's a lot. There's a lot of people. And when I craft in a Zoom session, it's very hard for me to, um, engage in conversation. So instead of crafting, I already made my page. So I have it. It's ready to go. It is the sketch. Um, and I will share that with, with all of you guys during the Zoom call or the Zoom meeting. Um, but what I'm going to be doing is kind of emceeing and directing conversation. So the thing that's cool about Zoom versus a live Zoom allows me to actually have conversations with you guys that are not one-sided. So like right now, I can see your comments. It's still really hard to like make sure I'm doing this and, um, you know, and paying attention to the comments. And sometimes I miss things and, you know, and also I don't always get like as much, I don't get to hear from you guys as much. So I love the idea that Zoom gives the ability for you guys to talk to me, just like I can talk to you. So my plan is to, um, 
I have to prepare questions. So to have some questions about telling love stories and what is your, you know, what is your favorite love story that you've ever told in a scrapbooking and how do you document something like that? And, or what is, you know, on a bucket list project for that type of story that you would like to tell or where do you struggle? You know, so those types of questions and to uh, direct them around the group. So I'm, I'm going to try, we'll see how it goes, where um, everybody is, like I might open it for conversation at the beginning where everyone can talk or whoever wants to talk. Um, what do I say? Yeah, that where whoever wants to talk can talk for like maybe the first five to 10 minutes. And then I'm going to mute everybody and um, like call on different people. And if you, you know, obviously if there are people who may not want to talk at all, so I, you're not, it's not a requirement for you to talk. So it will be people who want to. <laughs> and um, sorry, I just want to see what else I'm missing here. What else did I do on this? Right, I have that. And I just need to like remind myself what the heck I did on this. Okay, cool. Um, anyway, so I just want to have like real conversations about storytelling and specifically this time about Loves, love stories or, or relational, relational stories, right? Um, okay, so all week long, what do we got? This matters family time. Let's do that one. Family time. So and we'll see how that goes. And then at the end, I can, you know, open up the floor for everybody again. I just think with a lot of people, it could be super chaotic to have just everyone talking. So um, I'm going to try to, like be the director of the conversation. So we'll see how it goes. And hopefully, you know, hopefully that will be, hopefully that will work and everyone will enjoy that. And if we don't, well, then we don't have to keep it that way. So the next time, <laughs> the next time we do a Zoom thing, we can change it up and do something completely different. Not a big deal at all. Uh, so this one right here, this goes on the other side of Where'd that go? Of these two by twos. So the two by twos go here. And then, oh yeah, my beer page. So that turned out really fun, right? Love that. Um, okay, so then we've got the photos. This pairs up with the routine that kind of talks about the routine of the day, which is cool. That's done. And then on the back side, I have a flat lay. This flat lay photo is everything that pertains to like being inside. Like what do we what did we use a lot inside? So I've got, you know, these bath color droplets, I've got paint supplies, I've got TV con controllers, some books, some Legos up here, a candle, a craft beer. I think that's it. Um, Play-Doh, there's Play-Doh because we do that inside a lot. So just things that were really representative of what do we do on a regular basis when we are inside. So let's see, what do I want to put on you bring on the next one. things are no nope, things are not just hard you don't need that okay do, do, do. what does this have on it night owl evening this is me early bird make account nope. Nope, nope nope not what i want so maybe something out of here uh, let's go back in this sticker book I already have a big word on the previous page, so I don't want that to be the same. But I could do like a big giant red heart. That could work. And put it like right in the middle. Hopefully that's straight. And then, oh, I also could have done that. Oh, well, maybe another time. It says embrace the ordinary. Okay, so let me see. And we are first Zoom, Joanne. That's so fun. They're they're not like they're not that scary. Also, something that's really cool about about Zoom is that like let's say let's say you don't really want people to see you. Well, you can turn your video off, or if you don't want people to hear you, you can turn your microphone off. So like you can literally just come, and it could be just like this is right now, where you're just listening and hanging out in that 
in that sense, there is also a chat function. So you can like type in a chat just like on here, but there is the ability to turn on a camera and to, um, to interact. And I think that makes it really cool because that's, you know, that's, it just helps to build relationships. And I think that's really fun. I'm going to do that. Why not? Let's use some things on here. So where'd that glue go? That's probably all like this. Yeah. Mm. Yes, flat lays. I love the flat lays. They're some of my favorites. I need to do some flat lay stuff in like normal scrapbooking too because I'm so attracted to them. I love how they give glimpses into like some of the pieces of life at that moment. Um, so definitely something to think about. Like how can you incorporate a flat lay with that? Uh, you need to download an app. Um, I believe that you will, yes. So there will be an app on your phone. I think it's an app because I think there's one on the computer too. Yes, it's been a while <laughs> since I've um, had to like start up with Zoom. But yes, I, it is an app. It's super easy. There will be a link in the Mighty Network event, which by the way, Mighty Network is just like a, it's just a space to hang out. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a extra social media place, I suppose, but with a little bit more direct access to conversations and stuff like that. Um, so yes. And then, uh, there will, there will be an event there. And then on the event, there will be a link that you can click on and that will take you to the meeting where then you come in and you're part of the quote unquote meeting. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. That's good to know, Erica. Oh yeah. It's been so long. Um, and my husband is Aaron. He works in it. So like all the things he usually just kind of like sets up. I'm really good with software. Uh, I am not really good with like hardware or <laughs> like if something stops working and I'm just like, ah, I don't understand what's happening. But like clicking around and figuring out programs, I can totally do that. So it's funny. We're kind of, we, we complement each other in that way. Okay. So uh, this page was one of the one of the prompt pages that came with, or that Allie did in the prep party for this project. Um, and so this I carried around with me and filled it out as the day went on. And then I have this picture that I love. It's so awesome. So it's me reading to Izzy her bedtime story. And um, I believe that was a selfie as well. <laughs> then I propped up my phone in her windowsill and like took that photo of us. And I really like it. It's kind of it's interesting, too, because she doesn't have bunk beds anymore um, because now Jonah, we, like, split them apart. So Jonah has one and Izzy has one now. Okay, so this gets this plus this. We're almost there. I don't really want to do green and green. So maybe I will do, we'll do this big fat one. And we're going to put you way up here. No, nope. Right here right here. Plus the pink kind of goes with her room. So that works. We'll get our day seven on there in the middle. Oh man, I'm so excited. I'm so excited that this is going to be it. All right. What else do I have? Anything else that goes on here? Yes. Okay. You and you, you get this piece wherever you are. Okay, here we are. Sunday story goes on you and then you, I might just, doo -doo, what do we got? Anything I want? No. Negative, negative, negative. All right. So maybe like, what if I just put one of these yellow guys We'll do that. 
just to give it something other than being plain. Okay, do you print out your journaling on regular cardstock paper? I print out my journaling on, yes, regular cardstock paper. Um, I get the Nina Bright White pack and you get like a ton. I think there's 300 pages and it's like less than $15, I think. So you get a lot of paper for the price and it's good quality. It's not, um, like I, I've had a lot of people ask like if the, if the color matches, um, if the color matches Allie's white cardstock and it doesn't, there, there is a difference. It's a little bit creamier than hers. Uh, but for the most part, I really like it. However, some things like this, I did print on, this was printed on matte. And the reason I did that is because I had extra space left over where I could add it to there and not waste some of that paper. And also it gave me really good coloration of the uh, stripes on the bottom. But for the most part, if I'm printing on white, I just print on normal cardstock. Okay, so that is Sunday. Let's put it in the book and then I'll show you the very last thing I've got for this, which is really fun. Um, and is also a total scrap lift of Allie. <laughs> so I was not the genius one who thought of it. All right, so we're gonna put all these pieces in here. You, and this is huge. This is huge, but no regrets, right? None. Um, we'll see how this here goes with my album. Like what do I wanna include and not include? Although this was really fun to have all these like details in here. So I don't know. I don't know if I can edit myself out. All right, there we go. So Sunday's in, the whole album is good to go. So the last thing I have is for the beginning of this book. And at the beginning, I've got a thing I'm putting right here. So like, technically I probably needed two albums for this because you can see that this is gonna like warp in here, but this album is no longer available and I don't, it doesn't really bother me that much if it warps, so like whatever. It'll be okay. So the last thing I have is this little traveler's notebook. This was something also that Allie did in the prep party. So um, the it was the Week in the Life 2020 prep party. So uh, what I did is I took her sheets, which these are what she, what she did in there. I printed them out. So I've got journaling from everybody for things like um, right now I'm loving, right now I'm not loving, something I'm thankful for and what I want to remember about this time. So I printed these out, filled them out. I had Aaron fill his out and I just need to add my photos to the opposite side because you can see my pen bled through, but it's not a big deal when the photo covers it because it doesn't matter. So we're going to add the photos in from that week and then um, we can staple this thing together. I'm just gonna clear some of this off off my desk so it's not that in the way anymore. Okay, so let's add these photos. So we'll start with Jonah and I'm just gonna pick it right here. Pretty soon you'll need three. Don't you put that on me. I'm not, no, I'm not doing three. Although, who knows? Who knows, I'll never say never, but, but yeah, two is already excessive. <laughs> you know, I, I'm fully aware that that's a lot, that that's a bit much. Okay, so here is Jonah's, and I just printed like a large photo of everybody. Um, It's so cute, that picture is so cute of him. Okay, so there's that one. Then we've got Izzy. So these pictures I picked from like random, randomly throughout the week. So these were from the week. They were just like some of my favorites from the week. So I've got the one of Jonah. This one's going to be Izzy. Yes. So I need to add hers in here. Which is cutting it pretty close to that middle piece. Is that going to close all right? Yeah, it will. Okay. So there's Isabella's. Then we've got Aaron. 
<laughs> which is, his is funny. I picked this one because he has this giant fro. And I thought that was really funny. Uh, so Aaron started growing his hair out for his sister's wedding, which was in, it was October of 2019. Yes. So she was like, I want you to have long hair because he has really good, like really good hair. So he's like, all right, I'll grow it out. So he grew it out for her wedding. And then not much longer, um, <laughs> not much longer after that, the pandemic happened and you couldn't go get your hair cut. So he decided to just embrace it. And now he has long hair. Like he can wear it in a ponytail and everything. So it's, it's just wild. Um, it's also really funny because as I'm working on the older albums, cause I'm, I'm going back and working on some older past year, um, Project Life albums. And as I'm working through those, he's got like really short hair and he just looks so much younger with short hair. It's funny. Okay. There is, there, so there's Aaron with his fro. This was pre ponytail. And then we've got mine, which is also funny. <laughs> we have these like goofy photos of us. I don't know. I couldn't find like a really good one from that week. So it is what it is. Pick the, the best one I could find. <laughs> and call it a day. All right. So there's that. Now, because this little traveler's notebook is um, like three pages thick. I am just going to staple it closed because I know that that will hold. Um, I don't have to worry about that. So here is how it will go. So it's me, then Aaron, Isabella, Jonah. The Traveler's Notebook itself, so like this, I actually made that myself. So I just used pattern paper. I cut it to, what did I cut it to? Like nine inches typically? almost nine, 8.75 by 8.25, right? No, 8.5, 8.5. 5. So um, I did that, then I scored it in half. I added some stuff to the front to make the front look cool. This is from the, um, the collection here. And then you just add your pages to the inside and you can just staple it and it will stay shut. So that's what we're gonna do, which I actually, I need to go get my stapler, but so serious yeah <laughs> thank you well thank you thank you Millie you guys are sweet okay so I'm going to make sure that we're lined up really nicely here then I'm going to take some binder clips and clip it in place just so I don't have to worry that it will slip while I'm doing the stapling portion I'm gonna flip it upside down and I just have a foam mat because I'm gonna staple into it and I don't <laughs> need to like poke holes in my foam core board. Let me grab my stapler from my desk here. And then um, I'm just using a regular old stapler, you know, not anything fancy. Uh, maybe someday I'll get a long arm one, who knows. And then I'm just gonna line it up here and I think I'm gonna do three staples. So we're gonna go one, two, and three. So staples are in, I'm gonna flip it over, and now they're all just poking up. So I can take these off, and then I'm going to grab my bone folder to help me push those down so I don't have to use my nails. A saddle stitch stapler, ooh. You'll have to send me a link so I can see what that is. I don't know what that is. Let's come on you. Push. Yeah, because I want these to go down and not hurt anybody. Oh, you know what? I should probably do this on a hard surface. That would be wise. You'll get a much better bend if you're pushing on something hard. All right. So, there we go. should probably just kind of like somewhat push these down and then we'll secure them in here better. When I do a thicker traveler's notebook, I will stitch it closed because um, I don't want the pages to bust out and they will 
depending on how fat and chunky it is. And, you know, mine tend to be. So I definitely um, recommend stitching if it's, if it's thick. Okay, so then we can just fold that up. And there is our Traveler's Notebook all done, ready to go. So this is going to go inside of here. And we're going to wind this up like so and then this we'll see okay i'm just gonna use regular score tape if it doesn't hold up then i will get some red line tape because i'm out of red line tape right now i don't have any um and what i'm gonna do is add the score tape to the back of my pocket and it might it might not work we'll see i might have to get red line tape because i need to anyway i just used it all so i need to get some more but I want to see if I can just do this and have this work. Yes, I, I, I put a long reach stapler on my Christmas list this year. I didn't get it, uh, but, but it is on my list to eventually get one of those because I do a lot, a lot of like traveler's notebook type things. Also, I did get a book binding tool. I haven't used it yet. I'm very excited to give it a try though. The next time I'm doing a traveler's notebook, um, can you use score tape? Yes. So, oh, so score, score tape. This is score tape. I don't know where I got this from. This is old that I've had for a long time, but it's fat. I figured that'll work. Um, and then red line tape is the kind that's got this red film on it. It just holds a lot better to things, but that is literally all I have <laughs> is that right there. So I need to get more, uh, but it does really well with materials like, um, rubber or plastic or things that are a little bit harder to stick to. So we're going to take this. Yeah, I cannot wait to try out my bookbinding tool. I can't wait. I um, I need to eventually um, start another traveler's notebook here soon. Um, probably though, I don't know when I'm going to do it. I might wait until a little bit closer to summer only because I want to get some other projects done first. So if I can get some other things off my plate, then I can do some travel stuff again, um, which wouldn't be documenting any travels I've taken because I've gone nowhere, but um, it would be documenting my mom stuff, my parents, because I do their travel albums for them. Okay, so that is going to be that. So I'm just sticking it to the cover there. It's inside. So now I can unwind this and pull out this little piece here that gives you some inside details to who we are at this moment in time. So like how old we are and then um, just some different things. So like, like Aaron said, I bought gas for under a dollar per gallon. It was crazy. So that was like something he wanted to remember. Um, Izzy was, she was not loving her clothes because they were uncomfortable, <laughs> like, which, you know, yeah. So it's really fun just to have a little bit of a snapshot of each of us at the beginning here before we dive into the whole album that talks about what our life looks like for all of us individually, but also as a, as a group. So that is Week in the Life. That is it. Um, you know, I can quit. I'll do a very quick flip and then we'll see what I can do. <laughs> she does look just like me. I know it's so crazy. Um, it'll be so interesting to see what her brother, I'm just going to, going to flip and talk. It'll be so interesting to see what her brother looks like as he gets older. Like if he's going to really look a lot like her. So Monday, you guys was Izzy's day here. Izzy's day. Um, yeah, like, will, will he end up looking a lot like her, or is he going to have a look all of his own? We'll see. That was some artwork that she did. So cute. I'm, I'm really glad I put that in here. Tuesday was Jonah's day, so here's a bunch of his. It's funny because his hair is so long. It's so long right now. Like, part of me is like, oh, you know, like, I could cut it and it would probably be easier to manage. And part of me is like, I don't want to cut it because he has beautiful hair. Um, okay, Wednesday was my day. So we've got 
photos of me. So keep in mind, most of these are selfies. So you can get all kinds of different angles of yourself in photos, you know, all different kinds. I did, I took pictures of everyone's bedroom, nightstand and closet space. So we have that again, those changing spaces that happen over time, you know, hour by hour, my day, there's a flat lay. Everybody has a flat lay of what they were into at that time, which some things will change and some things will stay the same. Oh no, you're okay. We're, we're still going for a little bit here. Um, Thursday was Aaron's day. So I've got all of his stuff. It is the best feeling in the world to put stuff on a shelf. Um, I feel like for me, the biggest like dopamine release, so, or endorphins release, I don't know. It's one of those. It's been a while since I was in college, you guys. Um, <laughs> endorphins. I think it's endorphins. Anyway, is for me, like putting stuff in an album and putting it on the shelf. Uh, Friday was Dibs's day. So this is Dibs, our cat. So he's got, he's got all that. Yes. You have to figure out, figure it out. Oh, what do you have? Uh, an, do you have an iPhone for your photo timer? And what model do you have for iPhone? Cause I have an iPhone 12 now, 12 pro. I went from an iPhone 7 to an iPhone 12, and um, Saturday's family day, family day. And uh, the functions changed, like where they were changed. Yes, yes, so many ideas, right? Like we've got, like this is Aaron turning on our our lawnmower, like it was just, this was us sanitizing our food. I took a picture of us drinking our coffees like every day because we have a million mugs and that was fun. Pictures of my desk over the course of a week. Um, just lots of fun things in here. Lots of fun things. I have a picture of my kids in the shower together because that will change for sure. You know, <laughs> they won't be doing that forever. So many fun ones. And then Sunday, which we just did for family day. So it just, it's really fun to look back at this and just to remember all the things. It's interesting because it's not that long ago, but it also was long ago. And, you know, now my 2019 album <laughs> was almost two years ago, which is insane. Insane. There we go, you guys. That is a week in the life. So, um... As we get closer to the real, like the 2021, I will film an actual like flip through. And um, I have photos of most of this I haven't done. I have to still do the last three days. I have to take photos of it, but photos available on Instagram. Oh yeah, this is gonna be chunky. Um, so let me set this to the side. Do you guys want to hang out a little bit longer and do some color cast design? stuff uh project planning or are you guys like scrapbooked out for the night because I can go either way it doesn't matter to me yeah you want to do color cast okay let's do it so let me put this in the cabinet so um this is all of my week in the life supplies by the way so this is everything that I've left well some of it's not so some of it I will take back out and put it where it goes like I put some extra cards in here for just in case but this is all Week in the Life. I have it labeled as Week in the Life here on the front. And uh, when I get new supplies, those will go in here so that everything is ready to go for whenever I'm ready to go. Stamps will go into a different place. But a lot of this stuff will just stay in here for next time we do this project, which is really cool about these. I need scrapbook.com to like put these back in stock ASAP because I need a bunch of them. I really do. Um, okay. So let's grab color casts. We'll grab that out. I'm going to grab my sheets out. I just have a pile of them sitting here. Color cast. So color cast designs is we can purchase before or after probably. Um, well, I will go back through it now that I am done with the project and I will 
I will like take a really hard look at things and probably purge stuff now. Um, but I also might wait to do like any super purging of Week in the Life stuff until I see the new releases. Because at that point, I'll be able to know like, oh, there are numbers I really like here. So I don't really need those ones anymore. You know, that sort of thing. Okay, so Colorcast Designs. Colorcast Designs is a wood veneer and acrylic shop. So it's run by my friend Jessica Upton. Um, and she is like a one woman show and does, well, I think she has one person working for her now. So maybe a two woman show, but a one woman show where she designs acrylic and wood veneer pieces that work as titles or, you know, embellishments that you can add to your spread. So she this year started a subscription for her products where you can subscribe to a monthly kit of acrylic pieces or a monthly kit of wood veneer pieces or a monthly kit of both. So I did both because I like both of her, of I like both types of the products. Um, when you purge, where do you send it? I uh, When I purge my stuff, my address, thanks Billy, whatever, <laughs> it's okay. Um, when I purge my stuff, I send it to typically my, my sisters uh, will get first dibs on the things. Sometimes if it's like, like an example is if like these are not my favorite. I will probably purge the puffy stickers because I don't, they're just not my favorite. So if my sisters don't want them, meaning my sister Haley who scrapbooks or my sister-in-law Caitlin who scrapbooks then I will just give them to Izzy and she can stick them on things and it's whatever if it's something that's really valuable that I um that I don't necessarily want to just give to my daughter for her to like color and ruin then um I may like offer it up to people or sometimes like just send it to people for like, hey, here's some fun happy mail. <laughs> Enjoy this. I, you know, maybe you'll like this. I don't know. Um, I know a lot of people donate to schools, to like local schools. That's a thing. Um, I have a big old bin full of stuff right now that is gonna go to my sister-in-law. <laughs> she just she just needs to get it. I need to get it to her. Okay, so these are the pieces that came in this kit. So it's mostly a lot of title pieces. Um, this one's really pretty. This like clear January. I don't know what I would use that on yet. We'll see. Yes. Daycares. Yeah, that's a great idea too. Okay. Yes, I am very excited about the new organization stuff too. Um, I need to, I need like my kids to go to their grandparents for a weekend so I can film some things like that, you know? This is, yeah. Okay, so let me build this. So these are the acrylic pieces I have to work with right now. Why are you not going in? Oh, there you go. You're backwards. That's why. Um, now with with Colorcast stuff, um, anything that's got like a mirrored look to it has a film on top. So you just peel that off and then there's like this beautiful mirroredness underneath. You can peel it off of both sides if you want. I typically keep it on the back side. Like I don't peel it off of both. So it just is really pretty. So we've got shine. So this one says time to shine super pretty. Yeah, I hit mom, right? <laughs> uh. Wait, who do you make most of your donations to, Lisa? Ugh, okay, come on. Get this off. All right, there we go. We hear you and are ready. It's so funny. Yeah, I do. I need to like send them there for a weekend and uh, get some organizational stuff filmed, get some, some Photoshop stuff filmed. I think the hardest 
thing when it comes to like videos and content is not figuring out ideas for what to film. It's having the time to do it. Because I have so many ideas of things to, of things to film and make for you guys. So many ideas. Okay, we're almost there. This is the last one that's got this filmy stuff on it. Okay, so what do we want to do here? Oh, really? Oh. Okay, we got it. We got it. Okay, so there are my acrylic pieces. So we've got Fresh Start. I have an idea for that already. Uh, time to Shine. I have an idea for that too. We'll see what I want to do with these hearts. Happy Heart. Ooh, okay. I like that. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking. Here's where my mind goes. Fresh Start makes me think of um, eating fresh because the word fresh, I don't know. And since Erin is like all about making fresh food right now, that would be a really great story to tell is like talking about, talking about eating fresh food or Erin making fresh food. So I'm thinking what we could do, this keyboard is missing letters, that's so funny. I got you, mom. Go up one message, hint, hint, mom. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, my best friend does EVA therapy for kids and young adults with autism. Oh, that's so cool. Lisa, that's awesome. That's really awesome, I love that. Okay, so we are gonna call this Fresh Start. Um, I always like to include, so these are my, these are my sheets. <laughs> these are my planning sheets right here. They're nothing super fancy. They're just like an area that's to scale for um, the page that you're working on. So I have like six by eight. I've got three by eight. Actually, three by eight may even work fresh start. Ooh, I might do three by eight now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I've also got four and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So that's your traveler's notebook size. I didn't realize I was almost out of six by eight ones. That's okay. I need to print them. And when you print them, they come two on a sheet. So then you can just cut them in half and you have two. So I like to title it with something and then I will tell where it came from. So this is color cast designs. And this one was from December um, the December kit, but it was January themed. That way, when I go to later film a, film a video of this, I can tell you where it came from because otherwise I totally would forget. So we've got that. So my story concept is not this. We're putting it here. We're going to do a three by eight. The reason I'm going to pick three by eight is because my initial thought is to put this fresh start on a picture of like food. So like to have, you know, when Aaron goes to the grocery store and he comes home to take a picture of like the food that he gets, the fresh food anyway, like any salad things or tomatoes or bread or all the like fresh food and to take a picture of it long. And then this can go in the middle. So I've got my, I've got my squares here that tells me how big this is. So if I've got eight inches and three, I can put this in the middle, it will fit and um, put it right on top of a picture. Exactly, Millie, a flat lay of food, exactly. So um, I like the scale of that. And then on the opposite side, I can pair it with either some full page journaling or maybe some journaling cards. And that is one of the things with color cast. So I, I don't often, um, let's write this in here, I don't often, project plan these, but I'm trying to do it more because I find when I plan things out, I actually use it. So we'll do fresh start. This is color cast design. Am I on something here? Yes. Color cast design, December, uh, which is really January theme. Okay. So idea. So this is where I can write this idea, right? So we'll do title over full, full <laughs> three by eight photo of fresh food. 
there's my story idea. Then what I can do is pull out some of my cards here and let's see if we have anything that kind of goes with this. Um, because these kits don't come with cards, it's just kind of titles and whatnot. So for a, t for a card, I'm gonna want this to be something three by eight so I can make it go down the length of this here. So let me just see what do I have that kind of makes me think of fresh food. Not any of those. Not any of those. <laughs> this was a um, this was a card I got, like a birthday card, and I thought it was really cool, so I cut it into a <laughs> into a card to use at some point, and that I painted. Um, so, ooh, like what do we got? Emotional support, cancel plans. I hate these like these. These are all uh, Kelly, not Kelly Bergie, paper person. Uh, no, none of that. Maybe that. I kind of like that, which is just a pattern, right? But you can totally, like I could cut this and use it to uh, block things in, which I'll show you here in a second if that's the one I go with. Because this is going to pair next to you, even that might be okay. These are still a little dark is the only thing, because if I take pictures of food, they're going to be brighter. So maybe that for something brighter here. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a little bit more <laughs> more real time for you because I don't. I usually edit these videos so you don't have to see all this part. Ooh, like that could be fun. Okay, put another part. Da, da, da. Also, I'm. I usually have. Um, I usually have a kit, so this, because there's no cards, I'm just going through what I've got to see what, what seemingly goes. <laughs> Brunch. Like, too bad, because yeah, that's, that would have, not, not too bad, just, you know, that would have been a decent, kind of like that too. Would have been good. All right, let's see. Okay, so that's what we've got. I know, <gasps> you know what? No, no, I don't. I was thinking I had eat. I don't. I can also totally use stamp sets, like that would work too here. But we've already got the title, so I don't necessarily need another title on top of a title already. So I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't need to repeat myself here. So we could say, all right, we're gonna do fresh start here. I wanna do something that Maybe, and what do I have that's wood? Anything that goes. I know that paper person would be so good, but the thing is, is I'm not going to, I never get those kits for like a month, you know? Oh, good night, Pam. Not Pam. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Good night, you guys. And Caleb and everybody, you know, who's, if you're still here, good night. Fresh new start. That works. So we compare that there. Remember this, listening to this, comfy, cozy, reading this around the table, spark joy, ordinary January day. These probably need to go off to the side for January. Okay, so I like those together actually. So we're gonna go fresh new start. That can just go right with it. Fresh, new, blah, blah. Okay. So I'm thinking I kind of like this potentially. I also kind of like that potentially. So let's hold those out. We'll call that good. We're going to say like, let's maybe put a little bit of pattern up at the top, maybe a little bit of pattern down at the bottom. It's always a look I like because it just feels like it's framing the words and then we'll We'll add words in the middle. So that can be that. So these two are gonna go together with fresh start and that and this paper and there's one. First one. Oh, let me get my envelopes. I need something for you to go in. All right, there we go. So I have a whole bunch of envelopes. We'll throw this in here and then we'll move to the next. 
Okay, so the next one is going to be this one right here. I like this happy heart. So happy heart, and I like that there are hearts that go with it, or you know, that seem like they go with it at least. Nope, I like that better in the bottom. So I think it would be fun. Hmm, what can I do with these? You always have to look at your photos. Yeah, for me, it's, I like to look at the, um, I like to look at the sentiments and see, okay, like what does this remind me of? What does this make me think of that I can then use to tell a story about it? So happy heart, what would this look like? if we kind of went, actually, I like, what if I did this and then put you on something? I really want you all. Okay, so you are eight. What if, okay, we've got six. Oh, these are so big. That's the only problem. They're really big. So this is the one that's throwing me because it's the biggest of them. So what if we went like this? Oh, I got an idea. Okay, here's my idea. Um, so we're gonna call this happy heart. Happy. Okay, so here's my thought is, if we did some kind of just one single page and the title had this happy heart, and then if we did these like hearts underneath, whatever, <laughs> that's my attempt at wonky hearts there. And then, let me put this to scale here. So if we've got your eight and a quarter, so you could go here and it would be, that would probably be about center. Okay, so then if we put these underneath, something like that, then we're looking at roughly an inch maybe an inch and a quarter. Yeah, it seems about right. Okay. Because my thought is, what if we did like an inch and a quarter, some kind of like long skinny photo. So this will be almost like a, you could do this sort of thing on a 12 by 12 layout as well. Maybe if you had bigger pieces or if you had more of them. Um, these would all be the same. So maybe this is like one and you know, a quarter wide, something in there. And then added some journaling underneath, something like that. And then we could tell the story of, um, maybe the story is like one day and it's four things that made somebody like we'll say made my but it could also be could also be a family person or happy um so it could be that it could also be something like um It could also be something very simple where maybe, you know, because we're getting into, like, this is very wintry color still with the blacks and the grays and the whites. It's very, like, it's very winter. So it's like maybe it's taking photos outside, you know, in the snow or something. Outside snow photos, which also, here's something really cool about something like this of saying, um, 
Kieran Light is not. Of, okay, so something something about doing something like this, right? Where I'm like, oh, you know what? I could take outside photos and maybe it's like we all went outside and had a snow day and just played in the snow. Well, that gives me not a reason, but it also, it gives me an intention of, you know what? I actually think that would be really fun to take the family outside over the weekend while we have like two feet of snow and take some pictures of us playing in the snow together and then tell the story of how that day like what about that day made our heart happy? So like this story could be something that hasn't even happened yet, but it helps me set the intention to do something like that, which ultimately, you know, is is something I would want to do with my family. Like I'm not doing it because I want to tell the story, but setting the intention to tell that story helps me to think about doing that sort of thing with my family. I don't know if that makes any sense, but yes. Okay. So, um, that is going to be this one. I actually really like that idea. So, uh, when you guys see a bunch of snow pictures this is weekend of our family playing outside, you'll know, you'll know where that idea came from right here. Okay. So I'm just going to put all these pieces in here and then that will be a story that I can tell. So there's that one. Um, this one right here, and I have a couple of wooden titles too. Let me grab these and see what's in here. Oh, and we're at nine o'clock. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes, we're at nine o'clock right now. So um, what I'll do really quick here is I'm just going to tell you right now what my brain is thinking about these different things. And then, um, and then we, you know, I can either keep going or, you know, we can call it a night because it is nine. Um, I don't know what Aaron's doing upstairs. He's doing something. But we've got all these pieces. Okay. Hooray, fresh new year. So that's like January. I'm putting that up here with January stuff. Um, okay. So initial thoughts. This, gorgeous. Um, I am going to be doing some kind of album for... This could go two ways. This could go two ways. I'm going to do an album for my cousin's wedding. It's on my bucket list of things. Well, there we go. There's a bucket list thing. On my list of things that I need to do because I told them I was going to do it for them. So I really like to do it for them. It's something, a, a bigger project that I need to work on. So for me, this title right here would be awesome for like a pre-wedding type album. And um, especially dealing with like bri the bride, you know. So that could go really good there. Um, also this could go for my niece, right? Because babies are gorgeous. I could do it for my daughter too. Um, but I like to try and think of other stories that I can use my product for too, so that I don't burn out on stories about my kids. So, or about myself either, because I could totally put this on a spread about myself. That would work too. Um, but I like the idea of potentially using it for my niece or for my cousin's wedding. So we'll see. Comfy and cozy. Um, this also has like a pinkish, beige-ish undertone. Well, that's probably my fingers. But what happens if I put it on white? Yeah, it's still got like a pinkish undertone to it. I really like this. Um, a story that I did not tell for my cozy kit that I thought would be really fun would be a story about all of our fuzzy blankets. So that is a, a good idea for me. I should be writing these down. So, um, <laughs> I don't have to sketch it. That fur is still here. Okay. You know, what? I'm just going to do this because I'm going to forget everything. This is why I have planning sheets because I forget these things and like, it's just not cool. So how big are you? Oh, you're so big. Shoot. So if this was going to go in a traveler's notebook, it would need to be a little bit shorter and it's not. Um, and my niece's album is a three by eight. So it's definitely not fitting in there. I don't want to put it sideways. So, you know what? We're going to go totally, um, <laughs> I don't even know the word I want to say. I'm going to go totally selfish right now. And I'm going to make a spread about me. Why not? I think we could all tell ourselves more often that we are gorgeous. So we're doing it. Gorgeous. This is going to be me. 
gorgeous. Okay, so let's do, um, first of all, I know random facts that I want to do some of these where it's listening to, reading, remember. That's really good for, that's really good for this one maybe. Um, spark joy. Always remember, always remember. Winter vibes. Where was that one that I just said I was going to do winter pictures? Maybe that heart one. We'll see about that. Uh, around the table. That could be fun. And spark joy. So those can be random facts. I like to do things in fives if I can. Winter shenanigans. There's another one for those winter pictures. See, now I have to get outside with the kids this weekend. We just have to. Um, these are going to be wedding for sure. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here we go. We are, oh, and I have a home one too. What am I gonna do for the home? Maybe there? Always remember. Yeah, maybe over here. And same for you. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet. These are my questionables. The rest of this, I've got ideas. So, gorgeous. Um, color cast design, December, January. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be, um, letter. I constantly do this and this is the easiest way I think to do a story about yourself is to write a letter to yourself. It's a great way to get out a lot of um, like internal feelings or to really give yourself a pep talk if you need it. You know it's I am a big fan of letter to myself. Um and it will relate in some way, like this will be my jumping off point. So it will be something maybe very like, um, talking about self love, you know, and self appreciation and that sort of thing. So that will be for sure this. So most likely, um, most likely it will be some kind of full page photo that maybe I'll rope my husband into taking. And then having the title on there. Right. And then, um, uh, do I want any kind of subtitle? Maybe I might find some kind of like tiny, tiny word phrase sticker that I can put underneath. So maybe some kind of like something here just to ground it a little bit more. Um, and then we'll do something with journaling on the other side. Now this, again, you know, because there's not like, there's not cards or anything that goes with it, that might be more what I leave for later um, to figure out because I just, I don't really know. You know, these are a bunch of, um, again, the paper person. Just gonna see if anything like pops out at me. That goes, you know, decently well with this, this title. Not really, not really. What do I have of Allie's stuff? So with my like new organization, this is, I have three of these. So I have one that holds all of my stories by the year or yeah, basics collection stuff. Then I have one that I got for feed your craft and paper person. So there's my feed your craft and paper person supplies. And I'm not allowing myself to go beyond, beyond that. And then my Allie Edwards supply is right here. So this is some of this is monthly because I'm, I have some from older kits that I'm going back to. And that's not bad. Um, that I'm going back to and redoing. So I didn't want to get rid of, I didn't want to necessarily break down the kits. That's pretty good actually. So that says fall in love with taking care of yourself, mind and body and spirit. I like that. Yeah, have a good night. Have a good night, Shuwen. Shu Shuwen. Shuwen. Oh, tell me if I got that wrong. Shuwen. 
pretty sure I'm right, but I might be wrong. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, this might be, I might need to like, <laughs> good night. Oh, 2018. Okay. So these are all the other ones. So mm, I think I'm just going to leave it at this. So these two pieces. And then we'll figure out the rest when I go to do it later. But that gives me, that gives me the story, you know, that gives me a story idea, a photo idea, a journaling idea. I just need to figure out the rest of the product. So I need to figure out, do I want to use a pattern paper? Do I want to pull another card? What do I want to do with this? Um, so the rest of this. I don't have any more of those papers, so I think I'll just maybe sticky note this. So this one right here, Time to Shine, um, I want to do Isabella's first dance recital. So that's the story I'm going to tell with that. And I'll figure out the rest of it later. This one is super easy, so with this random facts. This one I'm just gonna pair with a big photo, uh, probably in a six by eight album. I will use these as my jumping off points and write down five random facts. What am I reading? What sparks joy right now? What am I listening to? What's something I want to remember? And what's happening around the table? I mean, those are pretty random and it goes with the title. So we'll do random facts. Um, so that could be from my perspective, it could be about my husband, it could be about a child, it could be about anyone, right? Anyone right now. I could call up my grandpa and ask him these things. So like, you know, it could literally be about anybody, which is super cool. Um, so I, um, what I will most likely do is take a big photo and kind of like white out some of the background so that these can go possibly directly on the photo maybe we'll see or i'll do a big photo and then maybe like a three by eight or you know there's lots of different options for that so this that is what this is going to tell is a random facts about somebody i'm not sure who yet good night you guys thanks for coming out shoe in she said no yeah i think i think it is shoe in um, winter shenanigans, that will go to another winter story, possibly from the weekend. Always remember, I like this title a lot for something, um, for something like dating. So this to me makes me think of like telling a wedding story, which I throw in every once in a while. So this will probably tell a wedding story with, uh, so let me just write that wedding. Um, if I was filming this and voicing it over, I would just go ahead and sketch all of these things out. Uh, but I just feel like it's going to take too much time to do that. So I'm just going to tell you guys what this will be. And then eventually you'll see them come together. Um, yes, my wedding. So something from my wedding that I want to always remember. So I'll pull out a wedding photo and use that as my base and then tell my story around that. Um, this one right here, I was thinking blankets. So that can be comfy, cozy blankets. And then, um, this one right here, these little pieces. So there are three hearts and then there's this like really pretty leaf portion. And then there's this, um, so the adventure begins. So this would also be a really awesome set of product to use inside of my cousin's like wedding album thing that I'm going to make. So I'm going to reserve that for them. I may also put the sparkly heart in there because why not? And um, this could also be interesting for that type of product. It says hooray, fresh new year, but I could always put something over top of this fresh new year and make it for... Um, not the start of the year, you know, because hooray is pretty generic. So I'm thinking these pieces right here are going to go to the wedding album for my cousin. 
that's where that's going to go. Um, winter vibes, I'm going to throw in with the, wherever that went, this one, the happy heart. I'm going to put winter vibes in there. Um, and then this January stuff right here, I also have this, this house. I don't know what to do with the house. Yeah, because it doesn't really, this might just go into my stash because I don't really, I don't really know what to do with this right now. Um, so that might just be a stash item. The two January things, this is January and then ordinary January day. I might reserve these because I am about to start working. I'm, I'm working on finishing up my 2017 project life and I'm about to start with my 2018 project life. And, um, this would go nicely in there because I don't need it for 2020. I've already done my January spreads, but I can definitely use this in that. If I don't, I could always hold on to it. I'm curious to see how it will look on a photo because it is clear, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll play it by ear and see how it goes. And this is ordinary January day. So these, I might just stick back in here and do that. The house can go here too. To you, Millie, do you like it? Do you like the house? I'll send it to you. <laughs> Cause yeah, I'm not crazy about it. I don't know what to do with that. Which means I should probably try to use it first, right? Wasn't that what I just said earlier? That like tooting my own horn. Ooh, I try to use all the hard things. Yeah, that's the hard thing right now. I don't know what to do with that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is put these pieces together. So this will go in here. I'll put like a slip of paper or something in here that just, actually I'll probably just put it in with the collection of product that I have for their album. Let me grab that and we'll stick it in there. So this is what I have for my cousin's album that I'm going to work on. I haven't started it yet because I'm the worst, but it is going to happen. So I have one of Jessica's wood veneer um, albums. That's what I'm going to do it in. And then I have like ephemera that I kept from their wedding and from stuff leading up to it. So this can just go straight into there to use the blanket spread. Oh, it could, couldn't it? Oh, that would be nice. Wait, let me see that. Yeah. Cause I could go like this. Oh man, you guys are good. All right. We're doing that. Thank you. <gasps> I see, I'm now I'm glad I did this live because this I just would have been like, I have no idea. I'm going to put this away. I'll do it. Okay, blanket spread. It's going in. <laughs> okay, so that's that. So I'm just going to put these away. And that'll be, that'll pretty much be it for tonight. I will probably sketch something eventually with these just so I can... Um, have a clear idea of what I want to do with it, but I'm not going to do that tonight because, you know, it's already late and my brain's a little fried. So we will do that then. And then it's time to shine. All right. Well, you guys, I hope that that was kind of fun <laughs> to see. I definitely enjoyed planning this stuff out. Um, I want to do it more regularly to try and do some of the kits that I don't that I'm not on their teams because sometimes it's hard for me to find time to use the product that is not from a design team. But I want to because I buy it, so I would like to use it. Therefore, I need to plan it and why not share that if it helps somebody else too. Um, so that is what we're gonna be doing here, oh, dance recital. All right, you guys, that is gonna be it for me tonight. Um, Tomorrow, Story Kit Crush, so I will check you guys out there tomorrow. Can't wait to read all the stuff. Hi, Karen. I'm glad you guys, I'm glad you made it. I will hug them for you and say hello. Um, I'm glad it was helpful, and you guys can see my thought. I'm tr I tried to, like, talk out loud my thought process here as I'm walking through it because that was kind of fun. Uh, folder pockets for three by fours. Yes, yes. Um, these ones you're talking about, these, these little booklets are, yes, from Allie, um, from Allie's website. So I've, these, and this is my new storage system for my cards. Um, yes. 
yes okay good I'm glad you guys enjoyed that a lot I'm, I'm really glad so okay cool so I will see you guys um throughout the weekend hopefully I'll see you on Saturday at our crafty zoom which should be a ton of fun I'm looking forward to it and um yeah until then I hope you guys have a great rest of your night catch you guys in the next video <laughs> bye